so students whenever you are going for a war you should know everything right okay your weapons how to use those weapons and what is the timing right timing to use those weapons right so similarly neat exam is just like a war and in this war you need to know about your syllabus you should have good practice about it that you have done in last two three years right and then at the exam time right what is important the omr sheet filling right when you are filling the sheet right you will say ma'am what's the big deal in that ma'am i know how to use pen i know how to use bubbles how to mark bubbles so what's the big deal in that the big deal is the strategy of filling the omr sheet right that means some students what they do in the panic mode they fill the wrong answers sometimes we are not able to manage the time and sometimes we are not aware that how exactly to fill the bubbles right so okay so all these things i'll tell you in this particular video right before that like this video and share this video for all the students who actually are need or are in need of these kind of videos right right so let us see the first thing here that is omr sheet the first step is filling your personal details here so your personal details are there in the omr sheet so here you have the roll number that will be from your don't say don't be over confident i learn my i, I know what is my roll number ma'am i am very over confident i'll write it no you have to verify it with your application number you with your admit card then only write it and please if your roll number is let's say 12789 so write it 12789 12 like this 12789 12789 Eight nine. You also have to fill the bubbles here. Okay, don't fill your roll number wrong. Okay, otherwise that is going to be a big, big, big blunder. You never know what kind of silly mistake you might end up doing in the examination hall. That's why I am telling you about the silliest of mistake that you might do. Okay. Next thing is test booklet number. Then, uh, then you just need to fill on your all details here, right? Uh, then the main thing is. Ma'am, answers. Okay, these are the sections where you need to fill your answers of physics, chemistry, botany, and zoology, depending upon the numbers, right? So here, if you see students, here if you see students, some students end up having different different strategies, and the strategy only what is matters while filling the OMR sheets. Okay, so first thing is what are the mistakes that students make? so the first thing is filling up the omr sheet at the end so you are like okay so what i'll do i'll solve all the 180 questions let's say out of 180 you have solved let's say 150 or let's say you have solved 100 questions okay so what you will do first you will solve all the 100 questions then you will start filling the omr very rare students i have seen who who actually do these kind of things very rare this is only possible if you are actually very fast and very you know to the point you know exactly there is not even 1% chance that you can mark it wrong right for this you need to have a very good practice very good means you need to at least all 200 or something mocks to actually achieve the accuracy of this thing otherwise the probability the chances of doing mistake are very high when you are filling the bubbles in the end right so what are the mistakes that you can do in the end first thing is you will maybe for example this is the first question this is second this is third this is fourth line this is fifth line what you might do you will fill first then you might fill second here only third fourth fifth and then you will notice that okay i have done mis some mistake now it's not only one question all the other questions right after this after this question all the other questions you have filled wrong You will say, "Ma'am, I am not stupid. Why will I do such kind of mistake?" Trust me, you are when you are in the examination hall, when you are filling the sheets. Trust me, sometimes some students do these kind of mistakes because at the end, let's say you are just just left with fifteen minutes, and you have so many bubbles to fill. Right at this point, very high chances that you might end up doing these kind of mistakes. so i will not advise you that you should fill your omr sheet in the end that is a blunder that you might do right next is filling the omr sheet simultaneously now some students are like i'll be totally risk free what i'll do first i'll solve one question then i'll fill then i'll solve one question i'll fill so now here what happens okay that's fine the the number of questions that you are going to solve you are going to fill the omr sheet correctly right the incorrect chances are very very rare but you know what might happen here that the time management you you are filling the omr sheet again 
then again you are solving the again filling then again solving so it's like too much chaos right at every 2 minutes there are so many chaos things that are happening right so that's why this is not advisable might be in the end you have just solved 50 to 60 question or maybe 70 question so that is not at all beneficial if you actually want to get seat here right so that's why this is also not advisable next is that is quite i would say uh, not entirely a wrong method right for some students it might work for some students it might not work that is filling up the omr sheet after each subject so once for example most of the students they start their exam from botany like that is biology botany or zoology after that chemistry and after that physics this also can get shuffled sometimes students start from physics and then chemistry right but bi biology is always the first priority of neat aspirants right that also you know right so here what you can do uh what students do is they firstly fill up all the questions they solve all the questions of bio then they fill it's not a wrong method but here again the chances of doing things wrong because one full section one full section is actually dedicated to your one subject right so if one question goes wrong next all 20 30 40 questions might go wrong here right so this is not entirely a bad strategy but i would not prefer that strategy also right for those students who don't have enough feet you have enough practice then you can opt for this method also but if you don't have enough practice you have don't have enough practice of uh, giving the mock test with the omr sheet then i would not advise this then i will advise you to pick up section wise section wise means uh, let's say i am solving biology first then i will pick up according to the question so some students who have like i am like it totally depends upon that what kind of uh, questions you want to select here right some students they like to select let's say 10 questions each some students they like to select let's say uh five questions each some students like to select seven questions each so totally your choice right whatever works for you right if you think you are someone who is very clumsy right they do silly mistakes in the exam i would advise you five if you are someone who is very accurate right even in panic mode they know how to stay calm then you can pick out 10 10 question each that is also good for you right so 10 question you solve then okay you are letting the seven uh, let's say for seven question for seven question the answer is d so you will say seven it is d seven it is four seven it is four seven it is four seven it is four okay you should be reminded at every second that what exactly you are filling it's not like seven d okay then you pick up here seven c right so these kind of mistake avoid it in the exam hall so whenever you are filling up some bubble try to uh, you know try to have your mind involved in that answer try to repeat it in your mind again and again so okay it is 7b 10d like these kind of things that you should uh, give in your mind okay so what will happen so when you are solving those 10 questions you are actually in that flow of solving the questions after that when you are marking the bubble your mind is also getting relaxed for let's say one minute okay one minute or i would advise you when you have good enough practice hardly it will take you 30 seconds to uh, mark the bubbles of 10 right 10 questions now let us see how to mark the bubbles okay when you are marking the bubbles that should be marked properly okay so one thing is if you think that if you mark something wrong right then you are marking it again then you think that okay uh, nt will be like okay maybe by mistake this person has mark two then no right you are going to get negative marking for that right so that's why i'm again and again saying you should have a proper strategy here now in these kind of cases you can't do anything there is no fluid ma'am can i use fluid no that will not work right so there is one computer who is actually checking all of these one software which is checking all of these so you need to be very very accurate in these cases right so one is to one question you can't give two answers that is the incorrect answer right then if you are marking let's say uh, you are marking it like this so this is the bubble you are filling it like this no that is not correct let's say you are filling it like this like this ma'am will this work no your bubble should be complete here your bubble should be completely complete here okay it should be totally totally filled right okay 
this is the correct way this is not the correct way right then if say ma'am can i take this like this is this the correct way no this is not the correct way ma'am ma, can i mark dots here no that is also not the correct way okay so one more thing so what is the correct way let's say you have this bubble here let's say you have this bubble here now what you will do this is your bubble how you will start filling firstly you will fill the outer boundary right then you will mark the inner boundary okay when you have the outer boundary inner boundary you can do it fast okay you can do it fast rest is totally your choice whatever works for you right this is how i used to mark and this is how the students right the toppers are marking right so when you start from here right you get very 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 tense when there is the time of sometimes in panic this happens right sometimes in panic this happens and that will lead you to the incorrect negative marking okay that's why i'm saying first you fill the outer boundary then fill the inner boundary okay now next thing is a uh, one more advice one more tip to all of you so let's say i have 1 2 3 4 5 let's say okay over here only i have the omr sheet i'll just fill the let's say it is 1 3 4 whatever is the answer so first answer is 2 second answer is 4 then you have 3 then you have 1 then you have 3 right so this is how you need to firstly just mark the dot over there right so this will help you because uh, let's say you are saying 1 it is 2 you are filling it you are filling it you are filling it now you have forgotten totally what was the second one then you will check the answer okay this was the second one then you will fill the second one okay that is time consuming to save your time when you have list of 10 answers okay that you need to fill in the bubble so what you do directly fill okay this is 2 this is 3 this is 1 this is 3 this is 2 okay these you have already marked the dot now relax in the relax now again what you will do mark a very little dot here okay little dot means this kind of little dot this kind of little dot right then again check right whether you have marked it correct or not whether the sequence is correct or not then start filling it entirely then you start filling it entirely okay like this only then you start filling it entirely like this okay this is how you fill your omr sheets right now i would advise you students you should have at least give one mock test uh, you can purchase the omr sheet it is easily available in the stationery uh, uh, bookshop also so you can easily purchase that at least give one mock uh, mock test right if you don't have time to give mock test what you can do let's say you're watching it one day before the exam you don't have time for the mock test okay let's purchase any any omr sheet fill 10 to 20 bubbles okay with accuracy right 10 to 20 bubbles that also ma'am is not possible then you can make your own boxes 1 2 3 4 4 4 boxes try to see if you are able to fill that within 30 seconds or not okay your speed should be good your accuracy should be good here right so that is the way of filling omr sheet students now again as i have told you that test series mock test okay we have already provided you the mock test here so in the mock test you can basically we have provided you the test series that is only for free of cost in these test series what you can do pick out any random test series where you can give your mock test with the omr sheet that would be my advice to you rest totally depends upon the time that you have right now okay i don't know at what time you are watching this video right then if you are watching this video let's say two days before the exam then this study buddy is going to help you a lot here you just need to scan this qr scanner and click here and that will help you in your study material everything then if you are watching this again let's say one day or two days before the exam then this is your most important neat previous year question right and neat question paper of 2022 to 2024 that is going to be extremely useful for your uh, preparation right because some questions are directly repeated okay so that is my advice to you right and if you have your exam tomorrow or let's say you are watching this two days before all the best students for your exam and you have to be very very all the points that i have told you right you can't just mug up these points and you will apply that strategy that's not possible you need to have at least 5 to 10 minutes practice of filling the omr sheet uh, that will retain in your blood stream in the exam or otherwise you will get confused in the exam 
and you might end up doing some silly silly mistakes that i obviously don't want you to make right because when you make see if the question you don't know and that question goes wrong that is fine if you know everything in that question even then you make silly mistakes and that too by filling the wrong omr sheet that is a big 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 a uh, heaviness that you will have over your head after your exam and i don't want you to go through that i seriously don't want you to go through that so please be very careful about it omr sheet filling is a very crucial point of your neat exam so be very careful about what exactly you are doing what is your strategy so that's it for today students till then bye bye take care and all the best for your exam bye bye